now thank you yeah uh, now uh, we have uh, professor ju sirwasi uh, he's from iit bombay ju uh, professor uh, wasi is the pk kelkar uh, chair professor of nanotechnology and a principal investigator of the national center for photo uh, oltaic research and education at the indian institute of technology bombay may i request you sir to give your remark thank you very much it's a pleasure for me to be here of course on my own personal behalf but also on behalf of iit bombay professor devan khakar our director who uh, should have been here today but unfortunately he was not able to come so he has asked me to be here in his place first of all i would like to say that iit bombay is absolutely delighted to be partnering in this very important and exciting event and i'm happy that there are so many people here who will be participating i'll be here also the rest of the day and certainly this is a very interesting area i thought i would use this occasion to tell you all a little bit about iit bombay of course i'm sure many of you know already about iit bombay iit bombay is today one of the 15 indian institute in, in indian institutes of technology in the country for many years of course it was just five iits but now there are 15 of them so definitely the the uh, tribe is growing and the number of people whom we can actually touch through the iits is uh, going to increase iit bombay of course as the name implies is mainly a technology institution but we do have activities in many of the allied areas as well and that includes just to name a few which may be of interest to the audience here just to name a few of course the industrial design center kirti is here uh, from the industrial design center at iit bombay we also have for example the uh, uh, department of humanities and social science which has several aspects including they look at various aspects of social development they run a program actually in social development we have also the center for uh, technology alternatives for rural areas so that's looking at technologies but specifically oriented towards rural areas indeed i might mention here that our recently set up national center for photovoltaic research and education set up by the ministry of new and renewable energy really to look at the research and education aspects of the jawaharlal nehru national solar mission one of the major thrusts of our uh, center is actually going to be the use of photovoltaics in remote and rural areas so there are several aspects of iit bombay in fact generally i would say of the iits which you usually don't think about generally when you think of iit you think of just the technology part but there is an increasing awareness and an increasing interest for iits to actually participate in a wider social development through technology in fact i would just mention in this particular connection that iit bombay does have uh, the tata telecom center of excellence at iit bombay plus a major laboratory funded by the bharti uh, telecom group so we are quite active technically in the mobile telephony area and the tata telecom center in particular one of its focus areas as well is reaching out to all the to the rural areas both in terms of the technology just as an example some of the work they have been doing recently relates to low cost backhaul systems which actually reduces the cost of connectivity to the rural areas but also looking to some extent at the content which really we must be developed and uh, e education has been one of the aspects which the tata telecom center at iit bombay has been looking at of course as you may have noticed from the introduction i'm really not a mobile uh, telephony expert in fact i'm really from the nano electronics and nanotechnology area but what i would do perhaps is just spend a minute or two using this ex expertise or experience of mine to really point out that 
Technologically, I think we can actually go quite far still. What it means is that we can probably have better processors to be used in mobile phones, better, typically also uh, perhaps meaning less expensive. Memory can definitely increase quite significantly with uh, relatively low costs. So these are uh, possibilities. A lot of improvements in battery technology really uh, prolonging the life of batteries is also happening through the use of nanotechnology. So you can see all of this is actually going to increase the power of the mobile phone. Of course, I'm not very confident.